what's up y'all it's your girl queen p and i am back with another video all right so today y'all i wanted y'all to get my truck ready with me today so i'm gonna just be setting up everything this is my first day in the truck and i wanted to take y'all along with me it's about to get lit so yes that's what we're doing today so without further ado and before y'all ask me any questions about you back on the road i thought you was done i'm going to answer all your questions at the very end but right now i want y'all to watch me set it up okay so all my ladies because fellas okay y'all this is y'all lane already y'all have been here done that y'all been on the road but i more so be targeting my ladies but shout out to all the fellas that watch my channel as well y'all lit for following me subscribing and just really just showing love so i appreciate everybody but my ladies y'all you know we really taking over and i want to just show my journey with y'all so without further ado let's hop straight into this video <laughs> Okay, you guys, I have finished setting up my room, so I am going to take y'all and show y'all around and just show y'all how to set up everything. And if you got questions on, well, how do I do this in the truck or how I do that? I'm going to try to get to as much as I can. If I miss anything, y'all already know, talk to me. I'll talk back, okay? Talk to me in the comments, okay? I want to get to know y'all. I don't want y'all to just be sitting up on my channel watching me all the time. Talk to me. I'll talk back. I'm trying to build a real raw community, okay? All right, y'all this is the front you know just the regular front of the truck super clean i'm a super clean person y'all have ocd i am not ashamed of it okay and then this is the back okay i have my bed yes i put and these covers are so freaking comfortable i love this as i already told y'all in the beginning of the video i love these covers they're stretchy and just don't take much and they're just affordable and i love them so this is my first cabinet i'm gonna show you guys this is my cleaning cabinet i keep all my cleaning stuff in here I've always been like this. I'm super clean. I always clean my wheel and everything with my Lysol wipes. Like I never go without those. My bleach, I got my spray. I got my dish detergent from my um, skillet and all of that that I bought. Okay, and then I'm gonna come down here. This is my fridge. I am a very healthy eater. So it don't take much for me to cook because I just don't eat everything everybody be eating. I'm very satisfied with eating healthy. It's not something I'm just doing for a phase. That's just how I live now. Um, this is uh, another cabinet. And you see I have a skillet here. And then I have my air fryer here. 
and that is my funnel in that bag right there but those two is what i will be cooking with and i will be showing y'all how to cook in another video and all of that and just show y'all what i'll be eating and stuff i just cannot wait for that video but yeah y'all and then we're gonna come over here we have this cabinet space too this is the really big one See, and then I have another cabinet right here and then I have my where I keep my utensils and stuff here you know I just got my Nike bag and then my jacket and then my shirt is hung up then I have my wipes my exfoliating gloves that I use to shower in there then I have my wipes I go nowhere without my wipes nowhere okay nowhere ever got my lotion and yeah that's that for that cabinet and then here, as you see, I have my mirror. I love my mirror, y'all. You don't need a big mirror to look at yourself and all of that. Just get one where you can see yourself and you will be okay. And then here, I'm gonna slide this out and show y'all. See, this is where I have a um, cutting board. This is where I will put my air fryer and my skillet to cook when I do show y'all what I eat and stuff. And then here, I have my utensils wrapped up in here. I have a fork. Um, a butter knife, scissors, a regular knife, and then I have my spatula here. And you know, I just clean this before I use it. Got my dishcloth to clean my dishes with, and these are some um, just some paper utensils. And below here, we have y'all. Y'all have to try these. If you are like a sugar fanatic, you probably won't like these but i freaking love these you're talking about a good granola bar they're a little expensive they're like eight dollars but i will never stop buying these these are literally one of my favorites y'all they got the peanut butter chocolate one too and that's my i love peanut butter i live for peanut butter i love it so much but these are really good too then i have just you know my butter and my olive oil then i have my seasonings here aluminum foil and then my sandwich bags and then i got my bowls and my cups and my storage containers back there which i'll put my food in when i'm done cooking and yeah guys that's it for the tour mine is pretty simple okay you guys i am back and as promised we're at the end of the video so i'm going to tell you guys what's going on and why i'm back into my truck so i am currently doing over the road which means that i'm out monday through thursday or monday through friday and then i'm off on the weekends this is a job that i chose in my hometown in houston because i met the person in person like i'm the kind of person i make sure that everything they're talking about is sincere within the eyes you know i like to meet up with people so i can see because i'm just because i'm a woman don't mean you can play with me okay <laughs> they are really good people i have met them and everything is cool they're really laid back like me and i already know it's gonna work out so let me tell you guys why i'm back in the truck so basically i told you guys after i got fired from my last job in houston that i was going straight entrepreneur i have been an entrepreneur since then i did not pick up another job but now here i am and i am back going over the road literally since i've moved from michigan in january and came down to houston i did not have a job like literally so it's been almost a year since i haven't had a job and i love entrepreneur life i just love it so much like you can get a lot of things done that you can focus on yourself and what you're really trying to do and just really be the best you can be if you really take it serious but you can move how you want to move wake up when you want to wake up and just do as you please but don't get me wrong entrepreneurs work way longer than people who have a nine to five or a 10 hour job like they work way longer hours is longer ain't no end game ain't no end time you get done you get done you know so people get the misconception that just because you're an entrepreneur you can just lollygag around and you can't like you literally have to put three times as work as you would have to put into a working for a company you know you could just be more chill in the company but at being an entrepreneur you have to really up the bar so it's not easy so shout out shout out to all the entrepreneurs out there doing your thing you really out here because it's really hard and i have not cried so much as i did being an entrepreneur i cry so much like entrepreneurs cry a lot behind closed doors they cry a lot and i know this for a fact they might not tell y'all but they do like it is so hard some days you wake up and everything is great and then you go to sleep you wake up and all these things are on your mind you're trying to figure everything out how you gonna do this how you gonna do that 
it's just so much that come with being an entrepreneur but i love it so much and i know that's the life for me and that's just not going to change i just know that i have to put so much work into it and this is why i'm here so you guys i had a lot of money saved up before i thought about being an entrepreneur like i had a whole plan i have notebooks after notebooks went back and read all of my notebooks to see what all i had planned for this year and if i was on track and you know all i could do was smile because i've had some hard days where i cry and i'm just like oh i'm all over the place i don't know what i'm doing you know this is crazy you know how do people do this like i've had so many questions and then i wake up the next day and i'm okay so um yeah so i went through my notebooks and i'm very proud of how far i came but i will say that i feel like i ain't fine enough pressure so this is me applying super hard pressure so uh, this is my end game right now for trucking i plan on doing over the road from october all the way until february and i plan on stacking all of my money all of it like period if you can't buckle down and really finish one goal you're not gonna be able to be an entrepreneur at all <laughs> like all you doing is setting goals and knocking them down that's it that's it like I feel like I complicated the process and that's okay because I was a fresh entrepreneur. Don't get me wrong, I've always had hustle in me, but going to a full-fledged entrepreneur without no money backing me coming from a company uh, job or anything, that was different for me. So yeah, so you really have to set your goals and really just go. You can't think too much on it because then that's where you get the frustration and all that because you just don't know and you know you have to figure it out. And all I can say is to make your process easier, just figure it out. Just figure it out and keep going. Like, don't get stuck and don't take too long to start things. I feel like that was one of my issues, too, being a new entrepreneur. But I feel like you have to make mistakes. So when these entrepreneurs be telling y'all, like, oh, I went through this and that, they really did. They really did. You have to really bump your head before you can really get on and really prosper. You know, it's just not always a straight shot. Like, when you think about being an entrepreneur, everybody go, you think straight ahead and you think it's gonna be just like this. Nah, get that out your head right now. It's gonna be like this. <laughs> like, oh my God, bro. Like I was literally straight ahead. I was right there and then whoop, whoop. It's a detour. It, it's just like that. So yes, um, I depleted all of my savings account. I invested. I tried out things that I wanted to do just to see, you know, if th that was for me and also, it was a lot of things that I did not get to do because there's only so much money you can have saved up. And you know what I'm saying? Before you have to start rolling more money in to be able to do more things. So I've been working on my credit, building my business credit, all of those things. I've done everything the right way, but I have ran into a little, just a little, just a little cushion that I got to push down and, you know, lower the pressure on me. I'm not the kind of person who likes to let my bills get behind seven months eight months just to prove that i'm just this serial entrepreneur no like it's so hard trying to be an entrepreneur and have bills coming in because them bills first of all them bills not stopping they coming in regardless regardless if your business is up and running and up to par and you know it's starting to blossom or not them bills are still coming in so that's where my issue was coming in and i figured out that you know it's just too much pressure and i feel like when you gotta make a move you gotta make a move don't sit there and drown in it don't sit there and not do something because you don't want to do it we got to do a lot of stuff we don't want to do and i had to stop and think you know i called my dad and i'm all flustered you know like i don't want to go back and you know work for someone and blah blah you know he had to stop me right there like you have a career you know what i'm saying like it's a blessing to be able to pick it up when i need to and you know go off when i want to so i had to think of it like that instead of looking at it as me working for someone like i'm out here on my own all day every day nobody telling me what to do nobody calling me clocking me or what i'm doing every second of the day like none of that like you make your decisions on here out here on the road and i think that's why i love trucking so much so once i got that in my head the weight was just lifted off my shoulders like it's okay but at the end of the day, I want to make sure that I'm straight. I work way too hard on my credit to let it go downhill just because I have to take a step back. And I want to let everybody know who's a fresh entrepreneur or you trying to work for yourself, you're going to always have to take a step back. If so many people in their entrepreneurial journey will tell you that they had to go back and get a job once or twice, probably three times. It's okay. It's okay. So even though I have to be back on this truck, y'all, I have an end game and I'm about to go so hard. Y'all, it's about to be October. Y'all know from October to February, probably even March and pushing April, people spend so much money. 
They spend so much money. It's so much business going on at, at this time of the year. Like, it's time to get on the grind. So, even if you don't have to work for nobody, you're working for yourself right now, get up and just get to it and do it. And just know that there's a reason why you're doing what you got to do, y'all. So, that is all I want to tell y'all. I am okay. I am good. I am blessed. But I got to stack some more money so I can go back out there and do what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to sit there and figure out how I can come up with the money. My business is not moving as fast as I needed to to supply that money that I need. So I know trucking going to do that, do that for me. And my job is paying very well. I mean, very well. So I'm just about to get that money. That's it. <laughs> no one's coming to save me. So I decided to save myself. I always decide to save myself. I don't wait on nobody. Like I always tell y'all, I ride my own wave. I'm going to do what I got to do because I can't do the, I can't do the sinking. No, nobody's gonna pick me up if I sink. I don't got nobody to fall back on if I sink, you know? So I have to do what I have to do. And shout out to all the strong people in the world. It's not always easy being a strong person, but I am very transparent. I'm not scared to tell my story. I'm not scared to tell y'all the hard parts because when I come up, I want y'all to be like, dang queen, remember you was going through that and such and such, that's crazy. I've been following you that long and now I know your journey. Like that's, you gotta let people, and you know what i'm saying to even get that kind of reaction you can't hide it. i'm not hiding nothing this is the raw truth so i hope this video finds who it needs to find if you're stuck in a position where you just don't know what to do next or just do what you got to do it's okay just know that a job doesn't have to be forever if you don't want to be in trucking or you don't want to be whatever you're doing forever don't get an end game get an end game and don't let nobody distract you even new people, even love, all of that stuff, if they really for you, they gonna push you to go get the bag. You, and then you know when women get in their feelings, they be, oh, I don't wanna do it, I wanna stay here with you. Don't do that, don't do that, get up, get up. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because Lord have mercy, I had to take a lot of time to edit it, but it's worth it for y'all. So I have literally, taking down all my other social medias because i wanted to focus on you guys because this community i'm building here is really growing very very fast and i don't want you guys to look at my videos and just take me as oh her videos are all about trucking no my channel i did not pick a niche because i love to do when i say i can do everything i take interest in a lot of things i cannot put myself in a box and just talk about trucking so just enjoy my other videos as well because really i'm just trying to connect with y'all and i want y'all to connect with me back so yes so just enjoy my channel it's going to be all over the place why because i don't want to just stick to one thing like trucking is wonderful i love trucking yes but there's a lot of other things i like doing as well okay it's so much i can do y'all it's so hard to limit myself because i just like to do so much stuff but yes you guys like i always say i will try to bring you the best content but i will always be myself all day every day day all day every day, day. <laughs> bye